Arcadiana is. Ollie Bear. Well, Thanksgiving is behind us, and we are officially rolling into the Christmas season. And the first Christmas season extravaganza brought to you by young Al Bear <laughs> is in Franklin at the Lamp Lighter Coffee House. There he is. Look, Good morning, Al. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Caught him in mid sip. Hey, we're here, the Lamplighter Coffee House and Bistro. Love this place. Uh, Tiger Bird, love this guy. There's always something great going on in Franklin, especially at Christmas. Tiger, this is my first Christmas show of the season, uh, and so excited to be here. Uh, so much going on in Franklin. And you're doing one of my favorite things on the planet. A radio play. Let's talk about it. Yeah, the Test Theater for the Performing Arts. We're doing It's a Wonderful Life, the radio play version, which is amazing. It's it, you know, we go back to a simpler time, 1940s when radio was king, and you know, the sound effects were made and actors portrayed more than one character. And what we did, you know, we're all about arts education. You yeah, know, arts education is cut in schools, so we kind of take the brunt of that, and uh, we take we kind of fill that void and. We put an audition out for school children in our area, and now we have we have kids from Patterson High, Centerville High, Hanson Memorial, St. John Elementary that are going to be part of the show. I think it's going to be great. You know, I, I love I love radio plays because the pictures are in your head. You hear the stuff, you hear the sound effects, and and you know you're you're creating the visuals for that. And I think it's so cool. What I, what I love about this is the audience we'll have a chance to see how those sound effects are made. And I think it's gonna be great for the kids because they're gonna learn about how do you make the sound effects? Uh, how do you make the sound of someone walking through snow? That's right, or, and, or, or they get to make the commercials as well. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so let me ask you, you and I were talking earlier, how do you make the sound of someone walking through snow? You know, like for us, uh, when we walk through snow, we use cornflakes. Uh, we put cornflakes on a board and we actually walk on it, you know, and uh, we have a microphone close to it. So it sound, literally sounds like walking in snow. Uh, Wow. Uh, everything from train whistles to uh, you name it, thunder. We have a wind machine. We have a door. We I love have it. high heels on plank wood. I mean, we you have know, Tiger. I know someone who's walked through snow. That would be Alex Verstel, who's from Ohio, which is super far up north. They have a lot of snow. Alex, when you walk through snow in Ohio, does it sound like you're walking on cornflakes? Oh. Uh you know, I guess that does apply. Yeah, I guess that would work. Walking on cornflakes. Hmm. Interesting. It's been great, a while since I... Wow. Great analogy. We should yeah. do that in the studio just to make you feel at home. We'll put cornflakes on the floor. We'll walk across it. Let's do it. Who's doing cleanup? I love it. I'm so excited. Christmas! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear a rumor that Al Bear loves a vacuum cleaner, so maybe we could get him to do cleanup, right?